Something seems to be going on. Stop coming back! Don't make me punch you! You wouldn't punch a little girl! But we can kick you! Don't come here again! Idiot! I'll be back. You can't keep me away forever. I'll find a way in. You look strong enough. Can you help me? Depends on what you need. Information. My brother Solon has been missing for weeks. No one listens. They say he ran away. But he wouldn't leave me alone. He wouldn't. He knows I hate being by myself. Anyway, he was last seen training at this school. I'm sure it has something to do with his disappearance. Please, can you help me find out what happened to him? I'll see what I can find out. You're nicer than you look. Thank you. Don't thank me just yet. My help doesn't come cheap. What? You would demand drag me from a child? I don't discriminate. Mistios! I have some drag me, but you must first find out what happened. I'll prepare to be shortchanged. I think the trainers might know more about my brother's disappearance. But be careful. Rumor has it he can take out a Himera with his bare fists. Or... was it that he looks like a Himera with bare fists? In any case, I take caution not to look for a fight. I don't look for fights. They usually find me. Why are there so many young athletes training at this school? You've never heard of this place? This school is what Thassos is known for. It was founded by Thierrienis, the famous Olympian. Many others, like my brother, train here in hopes of becoming the next Olympic champion. Your brother must have been gone for a long time. Weeks. It's been weeks. He would never leave me alone for so long. He used to boast about future Olympic victories and adventures. He always said he'd make me the proudest sister in all the Greek world. But how can he do that when he's not even here? Finally, I'm free. I knew they couldn't hold me for long. No thanks needed. Yes, yes. Many thanks for saving me. But I must get back. My pets are waiting for me. Did they send you? Not sure what pets you're talking about. No, no. My pets are not animals. They speak, although a little slowly. You're referring to the workers at the quarry. Yes, yes, my pets. I care for them, feed them my medicine, and in turn, they help me with my research. I have a real bond with my pets. You look strong. Yes, yes. I can never have enough pets. You could join my family? It'll be a significant contribution to my research. Arrangements can be made. I knew you'd be interested. Welcome to the family. Don't fret, my pet. I'll take good care of you. We'll have plenty of medicine to go around. Tell me about this medicine. Ah, oh, the medicine. I feed it to my pets when my special tonic produces uh, side effects. Sometimes it's too strong. Side effects? Like forgotten memories? Oh, yes, you know it. My pets, it's my fault, yes, yes. Yet, you still feed them the tonic. I had no choice. I was forced to do it, but I will right my wrongs. I always right my wrongs, yes, yes. The people who captured you, who were they? It was that fellow with the eye patch. He was taking orders from these other bold men. They wanted my tonic and forced me to create more. Malaka! I had no choice. They threatened to kill my pets. Then they caged you. Well, they refused to let me return to my pets, so I poisoned a few of them, yes, yes. But, uh, don't you worry, my pet. I won't let them get to you. I'll protect you and your siblings. Your... pets... must have a history. I don't know and I don't need to know. I just know that I was made to feed them my tonic in a strange cave uh, similar to this one. If it fails, I get to keep my pets and care for them. This tonic must be special. Yes, yes. It makes my pets so strong. But don't fret, my sweet darling. You won't be taking this tonic. You can help me in other ways. I need the medicine you mentioned. Give it to me. But uh, my pet, why do you want it? 
I need it for someone I know. There are others afflicted by my tonic? It cannot be. Just give me the medicine. I'm afraid it'll take time to make, yes, yes. First, get rid of those malakis who kept me away from my pets. They're at the fortress just on the road. I'll get rid of them. I expect the medicine when I return. Yes, yes. It'll take time for me to gather the ingredients. You might want to look around Thasso city first. I hear that strange things are happening there. Yes, yes. The medicine could be helpful to Nileas. First, I should deal with the doctor's captors. This must be Karpos's house. The smell of alcohol is enough to know. Who's here? Mikos, you should be at home taking care of Nileas. <laughs> I should be doing a lot of things, <laughs> but right now, I want to have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you could use a little fun, and I'm plenty of it. So how about it? You and me. Let's have a great time. What? Just us? Oh! Now we're talking. So what were you thinking? Him? Or her? I'm the greedy type. Let's go with both of them. Oh, you just made my night, Mistyos. Oh, shut up already. I can still continue. I honestly doubt you could even stand right now. I mean, I could just lie here. Maybe later. Goodbye, Mikos. What did you find? Are they okay? Did you run into the crew I sent? They haven't returned either. Not so fast, champion. We found Mikos and Nileas before the cult arrived. Nileas! Thank Zeus! Oh, hello, uncle. Let him go. He needs to rest. We arrived just before the cult burned the house. They probably think Mikos and Nileas are dead. You did the right thing, sending the crew to check on them. They'd be dead if you hadn't. I don't think I would have. Except you told me to be easier on Nileas. I thought better to lend help, rather than to leave him in the shadow of my tough love. Glad I could help. Drink that. It should help you get better. And what of all the other villagers? The villagers are fine. I sent them home, and chased the cult out of their stronghold myself. You continue to amaze, Cassandra! You didn't just save my nephew. You saved all of Lemnos and Thassos from the cult guards plaguing them. Come, Nileas. I have many stories to catch you up on. Finally. I thought they would never leave. It's been a while, hasn't it, Roxana? Too long. Do you have some time now? Since you joined our ship, I haven't seen much of you. What have you been doing? Oh, you know, the typical things. Firing flaming arrows, bracing for impact, and rowing. Lots and lots of rowing. Look at these arms. Nice. For you, Roxana, I can make time. Good. 
I've got a couple minutes. I was thinking a couple hours. <laughs> Let's try one minute at a time. <laughs>